Today we're going to be checking out the Corsair Dark Star mouse. This mouse is going to have 15 programmable buttons, so it's definitely going to be designed for MOBAs and MMO type gamers. So in the box, what you're going to get, of course, is going to be this beautifully designed mouse, a USB slipstream receiver, which has a 2.4 Hertz connection, and a USB-A to USB-C charging slash connection cable. So first impressions with this mouse, I absolutely love the materials that they're using here. The two clickers are going to be made up of a very soft rubbery type feeling plastic and then the back is also going to be like that. The rest of the mouse is pretty much going to be made of plastic minus the scroll wheel which is rubber as well as this little bit here where your thumb rests that's going to be rubberized and on the other side of as well. And the rubber on both sides of the mouse is going to give you a nice firm grip that way you have full control. If I do a little shake test you can see that there's no rattly or wobbly parts and this thing was constructed with quality in mind. If we take a look under the mouse, you can see that there are going to be two large skates that the mouse slides on, and you can also see the sensor as well as some of the switches that can connect the mouse via wirelessly. So you can connect it via Bluetooth or the 2.4 gigahertz connection. And then you're also going to have a receiver slot that you can store here if you are traveling with the mouse. And then here you're going to have the USB-C port where you charge the mouse. Now, as far as comfort goes, I would say this mouse is definitely better for palm and claw type grippers. Palm is where your hand just rests directly on top of the mouse. And this feels pretty good to me overall, feels very comfortable and natural. And then claw is where your fingers kind of rest on top of the mouse, your knuckles, and then you kind of claw it like this. This feels pretty good as well. Now, the other grip that this mouse may not work with is gonna be the fingertip grip. And the fingertip is where your mouse kind of hovers above like so but the fingertip grip doesn't feel too comfortable for me because to access these side buttons i feel like i don't have a firm grip on the top of the mouse so it really kind of makes it unusable like that so you're going to be forced to use in palm or claw now this mouse does have 15 programmable buttons which is a lot so let's hop in the software so y'all can see what that actually looks like so once you get the corsair iq software it's going to look a little something like this and if i go ahead and press the mouse you can see that we can simply hover over anything on the mouse and we can customize it and in order to customize something we just press it and you can see this does the profile up this does the profile down and to customize either of this you just add a new assignment and then you can configure what sort of command you want to run when pressing the key and you can do a lot of things like keyboard shortcuts language keys mouse keys keystrokes and then you have some of your regular things like the utilitarian keys like text media apps macros and much more and if you want to change the view to the side all you do is you press this and then now you get access to the sides to do whatever you want with those and if i go ahead and click on the light settings here you can customize what the lights actually look like and they do have some presets here so if i go ahead and press this you can see we have the watercolor here we have a watercolor spectrum where it cycles between different colors and there's going to be a lot of different customization settings you can do with lights and you can make your own custom ones as well or you can also use light link and then all of the lights can be customized with its speed as well as when it starts and stops based on what profiles is are being used and then in the gestures menu this is going to be really cool you can do things where you tilt the mouse to the left and you can see on my screen here that the mouse is moving left and right and you can customize commands based on that which is really cool and you can also move the mouse upwards and downwards like so and you can also see on the software that if I just rotate this thing in circles, all of them are going off and you can really customize the mouse to do specific things. So that's like a super cool feature that no mice really offer. And then you also, of course, have your DPI settings. You can have up to five, you have sniper mode, and these can be customized through the different profiles. We're adding that as a command. Then you also have surface calibration. And then you also have device settings where here you can do things like your battery status, brightness, sleep mode, power saving modes, as well as some of the onboard profiles and some other settings. So really cool features in the software and I especially love those gesture features. So if you do something like tilt the mouse to the right, you know, you can do something like activate some sort of specific command while you're in your game, which could be a feel, which could feel pretty natural if you actually get used to that sort of movement. All of these features are amazing, but one of the main things about any mouse is going to be how the clicks actually feel. And here's a quick typing test for y'all to hear what it actually sounds like. So 
very nice clicking experience it's not too loud not too quiet somewhere in the middle i would say and every click it doesn't sound like super clicky where it's loud and kind of cold and soulless i would say it has like a slight mushiness softness to it which i really like because it feels a little bit like it has more character it feels comfortable and kind of cozy to click i don't know exactly how to describe it but it has like the soft cushiony feeling at the end when you actually register the click which i actually really enjoy so overall this is going to be a solid mouse definitely recommend this if you're an mmo or moba gamer or if you're someone that's just trying to increase their productivity and this mouse is going to be compatible with windows and mac so whoever you are this mouse is going to be very versatile and it will connect with pretty much any os or system out there minus linux i guess and with all that being said if you are interested in this mouse i'm going to leave my link up in the corner up here as well as in the description thanks for watching this video i'll see you in the next one peace